Welcome, welcome one more time to Unstuck Faith Channel, where we walk by faith, that's right, and not by sight. The just shall live by faith. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, and you can go into the book of Hall of Fame, Hebrews 11. Glory to God. There's so many things. But we're going to look at meditating on the Word of God. Let me say it again. Meditating on the Word of God. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, what are you waiting for? <laughs> Subscribe, hit the like button, Glory be to God, the thumbs up and share this message so someone else can be blessed and be encouraged. Amen. So we're going to look at Psalm 1. It says, Blessed is the man that walk. Hallelujah. Not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stand in the way of sinners, nor sit in the seat of the scornful. But watch this. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in his law doth he meditate day and day and night but is the light is in the law of the lord Woo! you know i'm going to share a secret with you real quick in psalms 119 and verse 165 i'm going to pull it up real quick i have to bless you with this word it's going to bless you because what do you with meditating right i'm going to pull it up real quick it's one, actually one of the longest uh chapters you can find one of the longest division in Psalms. So 165 says, Great peace have they, watch this, which love thy law. You see where I'm going? And nothing shall offend them. I mean, I could spend time on this. Probably I'll do another video on this if the Lord leave me to do so. But his delight is in the law. And watch this, great peace. Have they which love thy law. When you are, watch this, I'm going to bless you one more thing here. What delight means? Delight is please someone greatly. You see, God loves when we are seeking after him. When we are meditating up on his word. Day and night. When you just always want to be in the presence of the Lord. You know, I, I put it this way so you can understand. You see, a man who is uh, addicted to, uh, to drugs, for example, right? Or addicted to alcohol. He, he can't stay away from the bar. Mm. Because when he take a sip, glory, he leave this world and enter it into another world because he feel high when he, when he draw that spliff, mm -hmm, glory to God, and he feel like he's in cloud nine, he feel like he's somewhere else, but what am I saying, he go back for another draw, he go back for another drink, when you love the law of the Lord, when you love Jesus, when you seek after him, you always want to be in his presence. If you're not in his presence, you don't feel good. Glory to God. You just always want to be involved in the things of God. You always want to seek him. You always want to share him. You want to tell somebody else about him. Glory be to God. When you love him, when your delight is in the law of the Lord and in him. Glory to God. And in him, my brothers and sisters, you meditate day and night. How can you meditate day and night? By always thinking about him. You see, instead of you thinking about your problems, you're meditating on your problems. No. All you got to do is just shift your thinking. Let me say it again. You meditate on your problem so often, so you think that you're always in problem. My God, because wherever your mind is leading you, you're going to end up. So you're always thinking about problems. So you're always ending up in more problems. But if you think about the goodness of Jesus, whoo, I'm about to get excited. <laughs> and all glory to God that he has done for you, then your soul going to rejoice and shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thanking God for what he has done. So instead of meditating upon your problems and, oh, this is happening, that is happening, and all these things I'm going through, why don't you meditate on God? Meditate on the word of God, the promises of God, the blessings of God, the overflow of God, the increase of God, the peace that surpasses all understanding. Oh, glory to God. When you keep your mind and God, 
The Bible reminds us in Isaiah 26 verse 3 that, that those who keep their mind on him will in perfect peace. What am I saying, brothers and sisters? When your mind is consumed by the word of God, your life will never be the same. So instead of focusing on the problem, focusing on God. And when you focus on God, you focus on solution that will solve all your problems. God bless you, cause his face to shine upon you until we meet again. Remember now, we walk by faith and not by sight. Remember, hit the thumbs up and the subscribe button. Share this message and bless somebody else. This week, remember now, meditate on God's word day and night. God bless you. Thanks for watching.